Well, hello all. Um, welcome to the fifth lecture of our class, which is composition skills. Um, last lecture we talked about a complex sentence, right? Uh, we finished the type of the sentences, which are uh, we have three types of sentences: simple, compound, and complex sentence. Okay, today uh, we will talk about how to improve our writing to move from a paragraph to an essay. Okay, I will share the screen. Is it clear? Yes, clear, clear, uh, teacher. Okay, great. Um, uh, before this session, we were talking about um types of the essay or or types of for uh, sorry types of sentences. Um, because when we want to write a paragraph, we will write sentences. All right, and uh. When we want to write an essay, we will write many paragraphs, okay? So uh, in this course, we will see how to move from paragraph to an essay, how to, uh, how to enlarge our writing um, to move from paragraph to an essay. A paragraph is a small piece of writing. Um, which consists of uh, many sentences, while an essay consists of many paragraphs. Okay, so let's get started. Um, expanding the paragraph is important. Expand like to make something big or to make something large. Expanding the paragraph is important because it means that we will uh, make something greater. We will make something larger or bigger in size from something smaller, which is uh, the smaller or the small thing. It is a paragraph. So um, here we, we mean to, uh, to write an essay, which is greater, larger, bigger, than a paragraph. Uh, we will expand, expand like to make something large or big, um, the paragraph to the size of an essay. In other words, we will develop this paragraph into an essay. Um, let's see how to expand um, the paragraph. Before I'm um, seeing how to expand the paragraph, we will um, like to make a revision of the parts of a paragraph. As you know, in the previous years, you um, you studied a paragraph, and a paragraph consists of three parts. I am sure that you are familiar with those parts, but let's uh, make a revision. The first part of a paragraph is a topic sentence. The second part is uh, the supporting sentences or the body. The third part, which is a concluding sentence. As I told you before, that a paragraph consists of what? Of many sentences. So as you see here, we, we are talking just in sentences. So we ha have here topic sentence, talking about a paragraph supporting sentences and a concluding sentence, okay? So these are the, uh, the parts of a paragraph. The most important sentence in your paragraph is a topic sentence. The, to the topic sentence um, talks or tells the reader about the main idea of your paragraph, okay? So it is the most important part or sentence in your paragraph. We will see in the essay 
um, this name will turns into a thesis statement, okay? So in paragraph, we call it a topic sentence, while in an essay, its name is a thesis statement. Um, the paragraph consists of supporting sentences, while the essay consists of supporting paragraphs. Um, the paragraph co concluding, we have the last sentence, which is concluding sentence, while the essay consists of concluding paragraph. So when talking about a paragraph, we will talk about sentences. While we're talking about, um, while talking about an essay, we will talk about um, paragraphs. Okay, so in this semester, we are interested in just writing an essay. Okay, um, these parts are expanded or enlarged when you want to write an essay. In fact, an essay is a group of paragraphs. Let's see this example. Uh, what do you think? Is it a paragraph or an essay? What do you think? This shape, is it a paragraph or an essay? Yes, any idea? Uh, it's a uh, paragraph. Yes, it's a paragraph because it is just one unit, okay? It consists of just one, one unit, one paragraph, one text. We don't have like many texts or many paragraphs, okay? Um, let's see this uh, paragraph and we will see how to enlarge this paragraph to make it an essay, okay? Uh, the title is Man's Best Friend. Man's and man's here or man, uh, here means like a human. We're not talking about a, ma a male. Yani the meaning here, it's not a rajul. No, it's me it means al insan. Man's best friend. Okay. Yes, please. Who can read? Yes, I can, uh, teacher. Yes, go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Yes. Who wants to read? Yes, Sorry. we have. No problem. Yes, go yes. ahead. Uh... There are three main relationships that dogs have with people. First, we have walking dogs. These dogs, such as uh, Siberian, uh, Huskies, and uh, Collies, serve people almost uh, like employees uh, to a sheep farmer. For example, a good uh, sheep dog uh, is his most valuable uh, partner. Second, other dogs are known primarily uh, for uh, their excellence uh, in sports. Uh, the sleek and uh, superly, uh, or uh, sorry, supremely uh, fast hound are used like rocks and many in, in, the, dogs. in the races, race. races, races, sorry, races. Oh. Uh, and the many hunting dogs, such as uh, sitters, uh, retrievers, and pointers, uh, often often com uh, compete in hunting uh, trails. Third, many people enjoy dogs as uh, uh, companions. All kinds of dogs can be excellent uh, companions. Companions. Uh, but Combani you... companions companions sorry no thank you uh, teacher but a few breeds 
are kept only for this purpose. Some uh, examples are uh, toy dogs, such as a chihuahua or a lahsa apso. Lahsa apso, yes. Lahsa apso, because of the relationships they, uh, they have uh, with people, dogs are often called man's best friend. Okay. Um, this paragraph talks about um, the relationships of the ducks that um, they have with, with people, okay? Um, in this paragraph, we, we are talking about that the duck is the best friend for a human or for a man, okay? Um, by understanding the structure, the structure means like um the the shape of a paragraph or for example what are the types or the parts sorry of a paragraph for example we will see um the this three parts we will see them here in this practical example by understanding these parts in a paragraph uh, it will be easier for you to understand the parts of the essay because they are very similar. The parts in the paragraph are similar to the parts of the essay. Okay, so let's see. Um, as you see here, we have in the middle above the message or the paragraph, we have the title. After that, we have the first sentence, which is the topic sentence, right? And the topic sentence um, it holds or tell, tells us about the main idea of the whole paragraph. For example, if we forget about the rest of the paragraph and just focus on the first sentence, we will understand the main idea of the whole passage. Okay? So it is the very important sentence in your paragraph. There are three main relationships that ducks has with people. Uh, see that uh, this sentence is a full sentence because it has a subject, verb, and complement, and it has also a full thought or a full meaning. So it is important to have it as a full sentence in the topic sentence, okay? So we have three main relationships. You will see first we have the, the first relationship, second the second relationship and third idea which is the third relationship of dogs with people um you will see like uh, some of uh, names of dogs like siberian husky uh colis uh chihuahua uh laza apso okay all of these are types or names of dogs okay each um uh, type of uh, of dogs uh, has a, um, a certain pur purpose, okay? Some of them serve people, some of them like uh, they are like their friends, some of them uh, like a toy, okay? So let's see. Uh, first, we have working dogs. These dogs help humans in working. These dogs such as, such as like for example, or like, uh, Siberian Huskies and Coolies. These are types of ducks. You can type in, on Google. Uh, Siberian Husky, you will see like the shape of duck. Coolies, it, it is at, uh, a shape, a type of duck. Okay, its name, Coolies. Um, serve people almost like employees. Okay, this is the first relationship of duck with people. Um, see uh, that we when we finish the sentence, we put a full sentence, okay? Uh, I mean, in order to support the previous sentence or the working dog's um, type, so we added a, an extra sentence, okay? Or an example to a sheep farmer, for example, okay? We added an example in order to support 
the first idea. A good sheepdog is his most valuable partner. Okay. So um, see in the first idea, we talked about working dogs. We um, mentioned the, uh, the names of um, or name of working dogs. After that, we add an example in order to support the idea. Okay. So uh, this is the first idea or the first relationship of dogs with people. The second idea, we will talk about the second relationship of dogs. Other dogs are known primarily for their excellence in sports. Okay, so they are very good at running. Okay, the sleek, it is a type of dog and supremely, supremely like extremely or very. Supremely, it means extremely or very. Please, uh, when you face any um, new vocab, uh, write it in your notebook in order to expand your vocabulary bank. Okay, please, um, let's have like a paper and pen in order to write any notes or any uh, new words. Supremely means very or extremely. Um, the sleek and supremely fast greyhound, greyhound it's a, a type of dog also, are used in dog races. So they are good at running. And many hunting dogs such as sitters, retrievers, and pointers, all of them are names of dogs. And all of them are used in dog races. Often compete in hunting trials. Okay. So this is the second relationship. The third relationship, um, we we wrote third comma in order to introduce the third idea or the third uh, relationship of the dogs. Many people enjoy dogs as companions. Companions, like uh, when you when you have when you have a companion, so you have a colleague or um, a friend, okay, or a person that you will uh, you love to go with. Companion. All kinds of dogs can be excellent companions, but a few breeds or a few breeds. Um, few breeds like here it it means types. Okay, a few breeds are kept only for this purpose. Purpose means goal. Um, some examples are toy dogs. Um, toy like you know the game or toy for for a child. Okay, uh, these dogs look like a toy such as a chihuahua or lesa abso. These are names of toy dogs, okay? So here we finished the uh, relationships of the dogs with people. So we have first, uh, which is working dogs, second, um, running dogs or uh, dogs, uh, dogs that are used in, in races. Third, dogs as companions. Okay. And all of these relationships support the topic sentence. Okay. We are talking about the three uh, relationships of dogs with people. So uh, the first one, support the topic sentence. Second one, the same. Third one, the same. Okay, so we are talking about just one idea, which is the relationships of dogs with people. Okay, so those sentences are called supporting sentences or the body. Okay, 
Let's see the, uh, the last part of a paragraph, which is the concluding sentence. And the concluding sentence must be a sentence, like a full sentence. Okay, it must have um, a, a subject, verb, and complement. Uh, because of the relationships that they have with people, who are they? The dogs, right? Because of the relationships they have with people, dogs are often called man's best friend. You see the concluding sentence, it is so simple, and it summarized all the ideas in the body. Okay, so we didn't uh, mention any a new idea. We summarize, we make a summary of the paragraph by only one sentence, which is the concluding sentence. All right, is it clear? My teacher, I want to ask you uh, only one question. Yes, please, go ahead. In, in this paragraph, where is the thesis statement? Okay, this is a very important question. Because this is a paragraph, and in the paragraph, we don't have a thesis statement. Okay, in the paragraph, in the paragraph we have this part, which is, um, the first sentence, it's called a topic sentence. But we, when we want to exp expand or enlarge this paragraph to make it a, an essay, so the sentence will be the same. Uh, uh, for example, um, the same idea of the sentence, the topic sentence and thesis statement, they have the same factors, the same idea. But the difference is just in the name. So in the bar paragraph, uh, the name is topic sentence. But in the essay, the name of this essay or, or uh, the name of this sentence is thesis statement. Okay. I told you from the beginning that I, uh, because uh, I began with a paragraph, so I uh, meant to make a revision, okay? And I meant to show you how to enlarge, how to make this paragraph into an essay, okay? How to move from a paragraph to an essay. So here we are talking about paragraph. After that, we will move to an essay. We will move uh, to, uh, to see how to move from a paragraph to an essay. When talking about paragraph, so the most important sentence is called topic sentence. When talking about an essay, it's called a thesis statement. Is it clear? A clear, my teacher. Okay. So let's analyze the previous paragraph. We analyze it already. Okay. We talked about the topic sentence. We talked about um, the body, okay? But here we want to focus um, on something, which is we have in the body, we have, as we, told, as we told you, we have supporting sentences. Within the supporting sentences, we have major supporting sentence and we have minor supporting sentence. What's the difference between major and minor? Major, it means like the basic or the main, okay? The minor is like the supporting of the major, okay? Minor is not the basic sentence. It's small and not very important or, or main or basic as the ma major. Okay, so the main sentence, it's called major supporting sentence. And the minor, maybe we have one minor or two minor supporting sentences. Uh, they support the major sentence. Okay, so we have major like idea. And for example, if we want to explain this major idea, 
uh, I will uh, name this uh, sentence as a minor, okay? For example, um, the first sentence, which is this one, first we have working dogs. This is the major because it, it holds the main idea, okay? Um, the sentences that come um, after the major, they are called the minor supporting sentences. For example, when I mentioned the names of working dogs, which are Siberian, Husky, Collies. So here I, I am supporting the major one. So this sentence is called minor supporting sentence. For example, when I uh, mentioned here an example, okay, of working dogs, I mentioned um, as a, a sheep dog, okay? So here also I'm supporting the my major supporting sentence. You see here it is minor supporting sentence. So I need when when uh, I I for example write major, not just to my uh, write major, then go to the second uh, major. No, I need to add major, then to support this major sentence by minor supporting sentences. The same idea in the second. We have in the second. Um, the major or the main idea, which is we hear we are talking about the dogs that are excellent in sports. Okay, and after this sentence, we have a sentence uh, till the full stop. It's called sentence. Okay, so here we have one minor supporting sentence because this sentence is supporting the previous one, okay? The sleek or greyhound or sitters, retrievers, pointers, all of these are types or names of uh, sportive dogs, all right? The same idea in third. We have third, a uh, major, okay? And after the major, we have how many sentences? Okay, we have one sentence, but it holds um, uh, two minor supporting sentences. Here we mentioned um, the uh, companion dogs, and we mentioned as an example of these companion companions, we mentioned a, a toy dog as an example. So it's called minor supporting sentence. So the minor are supporting the major. Okay, and at, at last we have the concluding sentence which summarized the whole paragraph. Um, this paragraph is an analysis of three relationships between man and dogs. Man here means a human, an insan, okay, not a rajul. Um, if I told you what are the relationships, the three relationships we have working dogs, sport dogs, and companion dogs. Okay. Each idea of these three ones I um, put as first, second, third. So how many um, major supporting sentences here? We have three major supporting sentences in the body, okay? So you have to know that in the essay, we have elements that are similar in function. My teacher, but, uh, please, one minute. Uh, here, uh, major supporting sentences. Yes. Uh, explain the topic uh, directly or generally. Um, could you... Could you please explain your your question? Explain uh, uh, minor minor sentences. Explain the topic. Uh, 
يعني uh, are the topic sentence you mean yes yes very good topic. and the topic okay. sentence yes the topic sentence holds holds like uh, or contains uh, the main idea of your paragraph. In order to support the topic sentence, you need to add major supporting sentences in the body. Okay? So the major supporting the topic sentence. The minor supporting the major supporting sentences. You see? All of them okay. are supporting each other. And all of these sentences supporting the topic sentence. Okay? That's why it is the most important sentence in your paragraph. Okay. Doctor, no, in the Arabic, no, for example, the sentence is to explain the sentence, the paragraph, the topic, in a very direct way, not through the sentence. He is talking about. In a very direct way, not in a very direct way. Of course, the sentence is the end. It is the whole sentence. The whole sentence is to explain the topic sentence. Okay. I mean, I am not going to go out and explain the topic sentence. You have. All the time to keep an eye on your topic sentence. لازم دائما إنه أنت تحط بعين الاعتبار the topic sentence. ما بصير تطلع براتا. Okay. That's why it is the most important sentence in your paragraph. Um. So the elements in the essay are similar in function, in function like وظيفيا to the elements of paragraph. Okay. But the difference. Here in the paragraph, we are talking about sentences. In the essay, we are talking about uh, bar paragraphs, okay? Um, you have to know that in the essay, we have elements. Um, we, we read this sentence. The topic sentence of the paragraph becomes what in the essay? Becomes thesis statement, okay? We talked about that. The topic sentence in the paragraph becomes thesis statement in the essay. The major supporting sentences of the paragraph become the topic sentences of the essay. Don't confuse, please. The topic sentence, here we are talking about paragraphs, the three parts. The topic becomes thesis statement. The major supporting sentence become topic sentences in the essay. The minor, minor supporting sentences in the paragraph become major supporting sentences of the essay. We will see a diagram to make it easy for you. We have this diagram. I think will be easier for you. Okay. Uh, after the lecture, inshallah, I will send you this file. Um, this is the diagram or figure of a paragraph. Okay. Uh, see how these parts will be enlarged to be an essay. Okay. We have here the topic sentence will become what? Thesis statement, okay? But in the essay, there is something new. Before the thesis statement, we have introduction, okay? Introduction, like at tamheed or, or al muqaddimah So in the introduction, we will talk, uh, we will talk in general, okay? Maybe we will talk about dogs in general, okay? Then we will move to the thesis statement, which is uh, the, the, the direct idea of your essay, okay? Um, you see before in the man's best friend, we have major, major, and major, three major sentences, right? In the paragraph. In the essay, it will turn turned into um, here we have sentences, but here we have paragraphs, okay? Like the major and minor minor as sentences, here in the essay, they will become a paragraph, okay? The same idea of 
major, minor, minor, or two minor, or three minor, no, no problem, okay? It will become like a paragraph, okay? The same idea of third, major, minor, minor, will become what? A paragraph, okay? The concluding sentence in your um, paragraph will become a concluding paragraph, okay, or conclusion. Here it is a sentence. Here we have it as a paragraph, okay? Is it clear? Okay, hello again. Welcome back. Is it clear? Is the screen clear? Hello, do you hear me? Hello, Ahmed, Amina, Abd Karim, you hear me? Yes, miss, I can hear you. Okay, great. Um, so uh, before the break, we were talking about um, how to uh, turn a paragraph to make it, in order to make it an essay. Okay, uh, the paragraphs here, all of these are sentences, okay? And all of these sentences form up what? One paragraph, okay? But each sentence here will be as a paragraph in the essay, okay? As I told you, the topic sentence will be a thesis statement so it it uh, uh, remain it remains as um a sentence okay but the new thing is the introduction before it so the introduction and thesis thesis statement will be as one paragraph okay um here we have major minor minor okay will be as one paragraph in the essay, okay? So here we have introductory paragraph or introduction. Here we have body paragraph one, body paragraph two, body paragraph three, okay? And all of these paragraphs, the three ones, are called body or body paragraphs. Okay, the concluding sentence will become as conclusion or concluding paragraph. Um, before going to or moving to something else, let's just here um, talk in detail about these sentences, how they um, turn into something else into, in the essay. The major supporting sentence here will become as topic sentence. What the meaning of topic sentence? The topic sentence, the sentence that holds the main idea of this body paragraph, okay? After um, 
writing the main idea here in the body paragraph one, body paragraph number one, we have major supporting, minor supporting, major and minor. Here it's not like specifically um, major, minor, major, minor. Maybe we have just major, one major, and two minor or three minor, okay? Maybe we have two major, uh, one minor or two minor, okay? Maybe we have three major, three minor. It's no problem here, but it uh, we need to have like major, minor, major minor maybe two maybe three okay and at the end of body paragraph number one we have concluding sentence in order to conclude um this body paragraph we need to make like a summary of this body paragraph we need to add concluding sentence okay talking about um body paragraph number two body paragraph number three it is the same of body paragraph number one okay so here in body paragraph numbers one or two sorry we have topics topic sentence um sentences here as major and minor and concluding sentence as the end or uh, the final sentence in the body paragraph body paragraph number three the same okay so you will see uh, in the body body paragraphs they or the structure of them are the same okay um when you see like this theoretical diagram um maybe you will see it like it's a little difficult but you will um find it easier when going to a practical side when going to practice when you want to um for example, uh, to turn this paragraph, man's best friend, to make it an essay, you will see how things um, get easier. Okay, we will see now um, an example of the essay, man's best friend, how we uh, make the paragraph that we studied before the break, how we will make it to an essay, how the form of the essay will be established, okay? But please keep this diagram in your mind when you want to um, to turn any paragraph, to um, transfer transform any paragraph to make it an essay, you will put this diagram in mind, okay? Okay, as you can see, each part of a paragraph has been enlarged or expanded in the essay. So everything in the essay is bigger than a paragraph. You can turn your paragraph into an essay when you want to write about a topic in more detail. Similar to a paragraph, an essay is also composed, composed like contains, okay, or consists of three sections or three parts. Let's see the sections here as in the diagram. We have section one, which is introductory paragraph. This is the introductory paragraph, which contains the introduction and thesis statement. We have supporting paragraphs or the body. We have supporting paragraph number one, supporting paragraph number two, supporting paragraph number three. And we have at the end concluding paragraph or conclusion, which is also a paragraph. Okay. Is it clear up till now? Is it clear? Is there any question up till now? No, miss. Okay. Um, just because we are talking about theoretical things, like Al-Amur al, al okay, you will see it like it's something 
not clear enough but we when we want to uh, see like an example or a practical example you will see how we uh, we made a paragraph to make it um, an essay okay let's see an a, a practical example to make it easier for you okay now let's analyze model essay number one which is an enlargement like a, a bigger shape of the paragraph that we read in the beginning okay uh, before reading this essay let's see the shape of the essay the shape or the format of the essay you see in the beginning that we have a paragraph, just one paragraph, just one text, one, uh, one unit, okay? While here in the essay, you see how many paragraphs we have. We have paragraph number one, paragraph number two, okay? Paragraph number three, paragraph number four, and paragraph number six. You remember what's the name of paragraph number one? Who remember? What is the name of this paragraph? Yes, any answer? I think uh, uh, typical sentences. Um, is it a sentence or paragraph? Uh, I think it's uh, one minute. Uh, sentences. This. No, this paragraph. It is called an introductory paragraph. Okay, let's. Okay. Uh, go back to the diagram here we talked that a topic sentence here as sentence we will have it as paragraph a topic sentence will become as thesis statement and before it we have introduction and we said that this section or this paragraph is called what introductory paragraph okay is it clear and here okay. we have body supporting paragraphs or you can say it uh, body paragraphs and at the end we ha we call this one as concluding paragraph okay we will see it as practical here practical example so the first paragraph is called what an introductory paragraph okay um these paragraphs uh, are called body my teacher, I, I paragraphs. think uh, in, in these sentences, there are uh, three means relationship that docs have with people. I think this sentence is a test statement. Okay? I think. Which one? The, uh, Number three? In introductory. This one, uh, you there mean? Are Means, uh, me, yes, there, uh, there are uh, three me, I mean relations that a doc have with this state as a thesis assessment. Uh, this is a thesis statement. Eh? No. Yes, one hundred percent. Great, very good. Okay. So, uh, uh, yes. What's your name? You have. My name is Basil Shabo. Basil. Uh, Basil, so before the thesis statement, uh, what do you think about this topic? I don't want to talk about this topic, but I Okay, great. Okay. Yes, because uh, when you're studying writing, so you will uh, have many skills, including like um, gaining vocab, you will um, be good at uh, um, grammar, uh, uh, you will be good at forming sentences, okay? So this um, this course is very important, okay? So uh, yes, uh, Samir, you said? 
باسل باسل سوري باسل um, so باسل. this is the thesis statement right great so before the thesis statement what we have باسل what we call this introductory introduction introduction sorry introduction introduction very good great so um here you will see while practicing or in this practical example you will see how we talked about a figure or diagram this diagram will be translated in this practical example okay so this is this paragraph is called what introductory paragraph in the introductory paragraph we have introduction first like one two maybe three sentences and the last sentence in the introductory paragraph is called thesis statement okay here we have body paragraph number one body paragraph number two body paragraph number three okay so we have how many relationships of ducks with with the people we have one two three three relationships okay the same idea of the paragraph but here we are talking about these relationships in more detail okay and the last paragraph is called concluding paragraph or conclusion okay okay um let's read this example to see how we expand our um ideas from a paragraph into an essay yes please who can read the first paragraph I can uh, read my teacher. Yes, please. Go ahead. <clears throat> the dog is generally uh, considered uh, the first uh, demonstrated uh, animals. Uh, the dog is generally considered. Considers the first uh, yes. demonstrated, demonstrated animal? No, domesticated. Domesticated, domesticated. like it means... Uh, you know the pet, P E T. Pet. Okay, excuse the, me. The animal that you can raise it at home or you can have it at home. Domesticated animal, like it's Al Haywan Al Manzili, you, you can have it at your home. Okay. Uh, uh, the domesticated. Uh, domestic the gated the dog has lived with the human begins as a working no, no. Uh, but, uh, with with the human beings human beings, beings like al bashar human beings now okay uh, as a working uh, pr uh, printer with the uh, as working uh, partner par part partner partner Partner, okay, and uh, a household pit in all uh, years and cultures since uh, the time people, okay, live in uh, caves, okay, live the in, ancient, caves. in caves, the ancient uh, societies, as well as in our modern ones. Uh, there are three main relations uh, that uh, dogs have with people. Okay, thank you. Welcome, so, my teacher. Um, my let's... accent is very weak. Uh, no problem, no problem. We need to improve uh, our um, reading. We need to read more and more in order to get better, okay? Okay, inshallah. So, uh, you will see here... Um, I am uh, intentionally uh, wrote the numbers as sentence number one, number two, number three. But when when you want to write an essay, don't write numbers. Okay. 
here I'm I'm just counting counting I'm bad okay I'm just counting the sentences when you want to write a sentence don't write numbers like this okay so um let's see how we uh, we begin this essay by introduction introduction like a tamhid or when you want to talk about something in general okay the dog here we are talking about dog in general the dog is generally considered the first domesticated animal domesticated the same as household the same meaning it means like al manzili it's the adjective of the word house okay so domesticated the same meaning of household so it's considered the first domesticated animal. The domesticated dog has lived with the human beings, human beings the same as humans, like al-bashar, as a working partner and household pet. Pet is al-hayawan alif. Okay? In all eras, eras like all times, all periods of time, and cultures since the time people lived in caves. You know the word caves? You know the word cave? Uh, yes, yes, it's al kahf no, yani no. Since that time people live, lived in caves, so they have uh, a dog as a partner partner like a companion a friend okay in ancient the word ancient means like old old okay in ancient societies as well as in our modern modern like new ones what the meaning of ones it refers to societies in order not to double the word, in order not to say in ancient societies as well as in our modern societies, so we drop or delete the second societies and replace it with the word ones. يعني مشان ما نكرر كلمة societies استبدلناها بكلمة ones. Okay. There are three main relationships that dogs have. With people. Okay. You see that in the paragraph in the beginning, uh, when we uh, read a man's best friend as paragraph, we we had a topic sentence as the first, I will show you. The the uh, topic sentence here, where it is uh, located. When موقعه, it is the first sentence in your paragraph, right? While in the essay, where is it located? When موقعه, it is the last sentence in your introductory paragraph. Is it clear? Clear. <clears throat> okay, great. So you see how we um, we we be, uh, began our introductory paragraph. We began with um, general idea. Then we went with a um, more specific idea. Okay, like we began with um, most general idea, then less general idea. Then we went direct to our topic, which is in the thesis statement. Okay. Yes, please. Let's see body paragraph number one, which is the enlargement of major supporting sentence in the paragraph, which is the type of ducks, which is working ducks. Yes, please. Who can read?
Yes, I can if. Uh, yes, please go ahead. Any problem? Uh, place, uh, place of uh, color. Yes, yes, in uh, blue color. Yes. Yes. Uh, one first. Uh, we have. Uh, no, no, don't logo. please don't don't say the numbers, because yes, I yes. these okay. numbers in order just to count. The sentences. Okay, okay, مشان نعد الجمل أنا حطيت الأرقام. Okay. Okay. Uh, clear, teacher. First, we have uh, the working dogs. These dogs, uh, such as Siberian uh, Huskies and Collies, serve people almost uh, like employees. Uh, the dogs help uh, pull heavy loads, round up uh, cattle, and keep a sharp e. Out for string guards. Strangers. To achieve far more strangers. 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 Yes. Uh, to achieve uh, to achieve uh, far more. For example, a good sheep dog is his most valuable partner. Sheep dogs uh, such as border collies, standard standard collies, and Shetland uh, sheep dogs are very intelligent and uh, can learn to respond to hand sing, uh, signals as well as spoken words. Uh, as, as a result, uh, uh, working dogs uh, know their word uh, to their master and they are proud of it. Okay, thank you. So um, in the diagram, if you remember, we said in the body paragraph, we have the first sentence, which is topic sentence. After the topic sentence, we have major, minor, yes, major, huh? minor. Then we have conclude uh -huh. sentence, right? Yes, okay. So let's see this in practical example. Yes, please. Can you... Mute yourself, okay. Unless you want to talk uh, something so you can open the microphone. Okay, um, first we have working dogs. Excuse me. This is a topic sentence, right? As we saw in the diagram. What we have in the body paragraph as a first sentence. It's called topic sentence, right? What what we call this sentence? Yes. Topic sentence, teacher. Topic sentence, yes. Very good. So this is a topic sentence. After that, we have major supporting sentence, okay? And after major supporting sentence, maybe we have minor because we are supporting the previous one, okay? We are talking about the uh, working dogs. For example, they help, help bull. You, you know the word bull? It's the opposite of bush. Bull, like yeshab, heavy loads, round up. Carol and keep a sharp eye for strangers. Okay. Um, you will see below that the essay, you will see here which is the major, which is the ma minor. Okay, that's why I am made like numbers in order to, to know which one is major, which one is minor, because the major is supporting the topic and the minor is supporting the major. Okay, don't forget this idea. Okay, so um, after we have major and minor, we have as a last sentence, what we call this sentence? What we call this sentence? The last sentence in your body paragraph, what we call it? Conclusion. Excellent. Conclusion. Very good. OK. 
okay? So you see in the conclusion, we have some phrases, بعض عبارات, like as a result, كنتيجة لذلك, okay? You see here, for example, clearly, okay? We have some phrases that uh, and, it... Uh, and in, in, in the other hand... Uh, no, in the other hand, when you want to, com to compare things, for example, on the other hand, من ناحية أخرى. On the other hand, we can't no. use uh, this phrase in the conclusion. Okay? When you want to, to compare, to قارن, you use on, on one hand, on the other hand. Okay? Sorry, for uh, example, no problem. Uh, you can, for example, use as a result, um, therefore, so, clearly, in short, finally, as conclusion in your body paragraphs. Okay? Um, body paragraph number two. Um, you remember the second relationship of the ducks with people? They are excellent in sports. You remember? Um, the sleek and supremely fast greyhound are used in duck races. Bear ducks, the ducks that are used in hunting, in hunting birds, are type of hunting ducks. Okay? So you, you see the same idea of um, the idea in the paragraph that we read before, but here we are talking in more detail, okay? I'm just focusing here on the structure or of the uh, shape of the essay. Yani please keep in mind that we have this diagram when we are talking about an essay okay in each body paragraph we have we have in the beginning topic sentence which is the main idea of your body paragraph then you have major minor then you have concluding okay so here i'm not focusing on the um on the topic itself no i'm focusing on the structure يعني البنية الهيكلية. Okay. Yes. Um. The third body paragraph. We have ducks as companion or as friends. As partners. Okay. Um. We have how many sentences? Sentence number one, which is topic sentence. We have uh, how many? Major and minor. We have. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And we have the last sentence, which is My teacher, when conclusion or concluding I want to sentence. Ask you a yes, please. Go ahead. In 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 uh, essay, uh, every paragraph has a concluding sentences. Yes, very good question. Yes. We have okay. uh, in the bar in the uh, body paragraphs. In each body paragraphs, we have topic sentence as the first sentence. We have after that major and minor supporting sentences. And we have at the end of body of each body paragraphs, we have conclusion. Okay. What do you want to conclude? You want to conclude this paragraph. Okay. For example, you see here in short, all ducks, including toy ducks, are wonderful companion. So with this conclusion is concluding what? This paragraph, not all the essay. Is it clear? Clear. Yes, great. And we have um, a conclusion as a summary, or you can add your opinion, your point of view, to the um, conclusion, okay? Although there are a great many breeds of dogs, they can be class classified into these three main types by their relationships with their owners. Even if you have no interest in sports or and no farm to run, you can have a great companion 
in a dog. Because of the relationships they have with people, dogs are often called man's best friend. You see, this is concluding paragraph. So you can, <laughs> you can write in your conclusion or concluding paragraph a summary of the whole essay or you can add your opinion. Okay. So because we are running out of the time, I will send you this file. Uh, please read, reread this essay. Okay. Uh, analyze this essay. Let's, uh, for example, see sentence number one. It is a uh, general sentence number two, less general, sentence number three, sentence uh, thesis statement in the introduct introduction, okay? Um, let's see in the paragraph, body paragraphs, sentence number one, two, three, etc. Read it after the lecture. After reading the essay, you will analyze um, the sentences, okay? And after that, your homework is to write a similar essay to this essay. Inshallah. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, just to make a summary, uh, you need to rewrite, uh, reread, uh, sorry, reread uh, the essay. You need to analyze, تعمل تحليل للإسي. Okay. And after that, you need to write a similar essay to this essay, like to talk about the relationships of ducks with human beings. Is it clear? Clear. Okay. Do you have any question? دكتورة بس سؤال باللغة العربية هلا أنا أول مرة بسمع إنه بال بالأسي ألو yes yes ااا إنه بالأسي إنه كل مقطع بارجراف بده يكون فيه له كونكلوجينج أنا بعرف إنه خلص نهاية ال 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 المقطع أو في الخاتمة تمام بس لا جوابك لأنه ما بيقع لنا كتير وقت مش ما يقطع الاتصال الكونكلوجين هون هي راح تختم لي ال body paragraph ما حتختم لي كل الأسي تمام؟ نعم. يعني أنا لما عم بحكي على الكومبانيون دوكس الدوكس اللي هن كأصدقاء أو كرفاق للإنسان فأنا هون رح أختم هي الفكرة ما حأختم كل العلاقات الـ 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 الكلاب مع البشر تمام؟ فأنا بتكون يعني تمام. هي عبارة عن جملة صغيرة بتقلي مثلا um, uh, finally or clearly or as a result Um, many dogs can be, مثلا, um, for example, companion dogs. بس يعني هي جملة that تكون full sentence جملة كاملة تختم لي ال body paragraph. تمام؟ اوكي. هذا الشيء حيك يعني um, رح يكون لإلك أسهل ك writer رح يكون لل readers كمان أسهل. للي عم يقرأ لك حيكون أسهل. اوكي؟ Yes, okay. any question? Any Thanks other questions? Lot, okay, you're so welcome. And uh, please uh, focus and uh, write every single assignment. Please write it and work on yourself because it is so important to practice more and more and to write um, um, as more as you can to write essays because the more you write essay, Um, it says the more you will be a greater writer. Okay? Inshallah. Okay, take care and see you inshallah next lecture. Okay, my Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.